Good morning guys! We're awake and it's a beautiful day. <sighs> However, we didn't wake up voluntarily this morning. <laughs> no, we got we got knocked uh, for the first time ever sleeping in the van. We got knocked um, on the door, as on, in <laughs> on the door. Yeah, at uh, six thirty this morning, um, which was really fun. They knocked three times, and I didn't hear the first time. But Gabby was like, "Someone's knocking on the door." Yeah, we both had earplugs on because we last night we parked. Um, in this little little car park, not far from the motorway. Little 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 little, 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 little car park, and we thought it was it was fine. There was no signs for um, motorhomes. There's another camper park right opposite to us, um, so we didn't really expect that something someone would not be happy. Maybe we'll get a fine if we stay longer. So we're gonna get and go. We're gonna get and go. <laughs> We're gonna get up and go. Yeah, it's now. What time is it now? Seven something. Seven something. Um, and we're gonna. We've got two hundred kilometers until we get to our destination. Um, we're going to Baste, which is um a natural rock formation uh, in Germany, just over the border. It's very near Dresden and very near the border of the Czech Republic. Okie dokie. So now we're gonna make a move. And we'll see you in Baste. See you in Germany. Bye bye. Hello, guys. So we've just arrived at uh, Baste. And we're just about to have some breakfast. When we left this morning, it was a bit too early for food. So um, yeah, we've got some nice, nice breakfast there. We arrived, I think it's like 12 euros for the night or something, or five euros. I think it's five euros. Five euros. We'll find out when we leave because we only got a ticket and the barrier lifted, left us in, and I guess we'll have to pay on the way out. But there is a li limit of maximum one day stay at this parking space. So we've got 24 hours here. We're just gonna have some breakfast, pack up some lunch, and head off on a little hike to see the rocks and the nature park. So after we had our breakfast, we took the roughly 10 kilometer walk down to Baste. It was really nice through the forest and through the fields. So we've just been to Baste National Park um, rock formation. Um, we walked over the Baste Bridge and it was really, really beautiful, but very, very busy as well. So we just sat down um, on a little grass um, close to the formation of the rocks and just had our little packed lunch. The rock formation was uh, was quite something. I have really, really bad vertigo. I do not do well with heights at all. And it wasn't until I stepped onto the bridge itself that I realized where I was. And then I looked down and had this sort of feeling of panic rush through my body, but... Um... <laughs> you did really well. We went all the way across the bridge. We walked back, we took a number of selfies. We went onto this little kind of out bit. Um, which just had like a sheer drop down and you did all the filming so it's all for you guys all for the sake of youtube sam has been going over his fear of heights but it's stunning it's it's so bizarre to imagine that water eroded these uh these rocks 
million, was it a million years ago you said? Yeah, I think on Google we found that it's been formed by the water erosion a million years ago. And then in the 12, 1300s there was a castle here that stood here for actually not that long. I think it was like 100 or 200 years the castle stood here. So now we can only see the remains of it because apparently the foundations and the they carved it out into the rock, the steps and everything, but the superstructure was wooden, so it didn't stay that very long. We'll leave a location to where we're camping uh, and also to this place in the description below for you guys or on the screen right now. Okay, so now we're gonna head back towards the campsite. Yeah, we'll see you there. So when we got back to the van, we were super hot. So we both took an outside shower out the back of the van and then just chilled out in the van, put the air conditioning on and just chilled out. And after a few hours, we decided actually to cycle back to Baste. Um, and it was so quiet, it was a much nicer experience. The views were just as gorgeous. The sun was just going down. And I'd highly recommend that if you're gonna to go to Baste, go in the evening just before sunset. It was gorgeous. Because there were less people there and we felt less nervous being around everyone, we actually explored a bit more and found these amazing platforms, metal bridges, joining the, the different rock formations. And that was obviously the main highlight of Baste, but we didn't realise it when we went there initially during the daytime. Definitely go there in the evening if you can to avoid the crowds. a bit high. <laughs> Is it? Thanks again for tuning in with us guys. We're Sam and Gabby and we're going to be bringing you videos every Sunday evening. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified of every time we make a new video, like the video and we'll see you next Sunday. Over and out.